Hey everybody, this is Shelby here. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for visiting. And if you have been here before, thank you for coming back. I hope that you will go down to the bottom and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, take this little bit of a makeup journey with me. Today I'm going to be uh, doing a little bit of more of a detailed foundation application and uh, just uh, going through and talking about some of the things that I've started to kind of fall in love with. So uh, let's hop into the video. As you can see, I've already done my brows off camera. I'm going to go ahead and set them with the NYX Control Freak uh, Brow Gel. And this time I try to mix of, of the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow, dip brow. And then I also, also tried out, I also, also, also tried out the uh, new Brow Boss. Can you see that? Yeah, Brow Boss from ColourPop in the color dark brown. I like that brow boss pencil. It's really nice. Uh, I'm going to go in with the um, long comb and we're hoping that this works well <laughs> with our tan. And we are steering clear of the brows. Alright, I'm going to go in with this Kabuki brush from Sanaya Kashuk. It's a flat top foundation brush. Get this from Target. Love this brush. Let's see. A little darker, but it works. I can make that work. Okay. Yeah, kind of ended up being a little bit of a process of elimination with my foundations. I didn't realize how much of a tan I had gotten until I came home and tried to put on foundation. Challenge. Let's see. Mm hmm To put a little bit of concealer on my nose for this little dark mark that I have, but otherwise... Maybe a little more there. I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender to buff that in there. Okay. Next we're going to go in with the Max Studio Fix 24 hour smooth concealer in the shade NW35 and NW50 for highlight and contour. I'm going to bring the highlighter in a little closer to the nostrils so that I get a natural contour um, just from having the lighter there and then I add the lightness here because I don't like to have like light here and then dark and then light again um, a little on the chin a little on the chin there we go all right and then we'll do down the middle and little I don't know what that is what that is on my forehead it's a happy face it's a heart <laughs> All right, and then going in with the 24 hour uh, concealer for contour. Let's see if this shows up with my tan. It may not, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, sexiest part of the look, I'm telling you, it's it's magical. I'm going to let that sit for a second because I think, I feel like the 24 hours, they are 
pretty good on their coverage, but I feel like they need to sit just, just a little bit in some areas to make sure that you get the most coverage. I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender to get my perimeter and blend in my contour. Let's see, can you see that? A little bit. It's a little red. I have to add something to warm up. Oh no. Oh no, that's good. I like that. And I'm, I'm kind of making sure that most of the focus of the color is higher up on my cheekbone into my hairline and then lighter as it gets closer to the center of my face. Oh, it does blend in like it wasn't even there. That's awesome. All right. So I'm going to turn the beauty blender around and go in for my under eye. Yeah. And she did dry down a little past. <laughs> so I may have to uh, work quick. <laughs> this is reverse contouring underneath the cheekbone. And that's with the excess from underneath the eye. I'm going to go back with the Kabuki brush and just go over my contour and where they meet. Just to make sure I don't lose it. And then right over where they meet. Okay, and then I'm going to go back, go in with my concealer brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to go down the middle. straight up and then into the sensitive areas just above the brows just make sure we're all nice and subtle before I turn it sideways and go for the darker nose contour and for this I put it just on the outer edge on either side and I would pushing it up into the brow bone and sweeping it down one side of the nose and the same on the other. And if you feel like this is too dramatic or not straight, you can take it and turn it flat again and run it right back down the middle to make sure that it looks good. All right, I'm going to go over that with my beauty blender just to make sure it's calm not too intense. Right. Okay. Next we're going to go in and set the whole face with the Huda Kanefa powder. And not Kanefa, sorry, that's not what color I use. I use um, Blondie. Yeah, Blondie. So I'm going to go in with this uh, Hourglass brush called shade and light and I'm going to set this uh, lightly on my whole face. Next step I'm going to bake with C6 in the uh, Studio Fix foundation and then I will set my the exterior of my face with the dark deep uh, skin finish, mineralized skin finish from MAC. Okay. 
Yeah, that add a lot of brightness. That. Then I'm going to go back with the dark mineralized skin finish and bring some light back to that. But next, we're going to hop in with the mineralized skin finish in dark deep. And this is a angle brush from ooh, Glamour Dolls. I love using this as a bronzer. It's such a good balance of colors. I like this so much. Okay, okay, let me stop. Let me stash. I'm gonna go in with Mineralize in Deep and just bring some more warmth back into, sorry, in Dark, and just bring some more warmth under my eye. Is that showing up on camera, the difference, that side? Versus this side, I feel like this side's a little less warm. This side's a little warm, but still as bright. Okay, now I'm going to spray. I have a lot of powder on my face, so I'm going to spray with the Max, the Mac Prep and Prime because you know it's the goat. And uh, yeah. Okay, so my base is done. I like the way it looks. I'm gonna take a clean. Clean damp beauty blender and just pat in, in some spots the prep and prime. Can you guys see that? I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a breakup in the makeup or in the powder. Ha! <laughs> breakup to makeup. Um, or what? But I'm gonna. I'll watch it. All right. So that is my basic. Well, I use the term basic, but that's my basic uh, everyday foundation routine. I'm going to go off camera and finish my eyes, and when I come back, um, I'll let you, well, you'll just see what my eyes look like, because I can't walk out with nothing. And if you want to see how I got this look, these eyes, which I used in the Desi Times Katie collection for, uh, go down below. I've got the link in the description box uh, um, below, like I said. Uh, follow me on Instagram. It should be like here somewhere. Uh, and uh, thanks so much for your time. Look forward to talking to you soon. Ciao for now.